guys, moving on through, here's video number two. This will be a review on the Nerf Sawtooth. Now this is a very old vintage Nerf gun that is from 1994. Um, I got this off of eBay for like 8 bucks and like 7 shipping, so it was like 15. Um, first thing you're probably going to notice is, yes, I am missing the second part of the stock. It was not included. I'm am looking for one. So if you have one for sale, uh, or you just have one, um, send me a message and I will definitely buy it and get you a great offer on that, because I need one for this to be complete. Um, yeah. What I did get with it, though, is the scope, which fits up there, and two clips. I also got five of the original Mega Darts, but they're so old, not a package, that they're just ruined, basically. Like, they're too soft, and they're thinner than they should be, so they don't really fire well. But yeah, I have two clips, and right here I have five newer Megas that I took out of the package. They were still new in package when I had them. So I'll just load the clip, and all you gotta do is just push them right in. Pretty easy. Um, now, this is the way I load my sawtooth. I assume this is the correct way, but I'm not completely sure. There may be some right way, because I, I didn't get an instruction manual or anything, so don't yell at me if I'm doing this wrong. But uh, the way I do it is I put it in till I hear the first click and I feel it grab it. Then you can prime it. Um, I'm going to aim it right over there at my usual couch. Um, a few notes about the range. The it is shooting mega dart, so it is going to shoot further than any common day nerf gun, well stock nerf gun at least. Um, and what I found in my model is it shoots around 40 feet, which is pretty good for a stock gun. So without further delay, I'm going to shoot the cushion right there. And to fire it and back forward. You'll start to see the clip rise out of the top. That's the advancing mechanism. There's the fourth shot. Fifth time. And may, many of you think probably by the last shot you can pull the clip out. No. You have to prime it again, and then it'll just slide right out. And of course you don't want to dry fire it, and it has locks that doesn't let you deprime it. So what you do is there's the rubber seal in there. Just put your finger over it. Pull the trigger. Mine happens to have an okay-ish seal, actually. Like, if you could tell, it didn't make a lot of noise, which means it was going forward slowly. I'm going to pick this up real quick. Um, like I mentioned in my other video, I'm not going to be doing a lot of moving. That was just, like, reaching down. So, um, Also, something else I discovered is you can take off the scope and with a little bit of magic <laughs> kind of slide it onto the front like a barrel attachment if you want to make it look you know a little bit cooler or something whatever it's just a it's just hollow all the way through it's like a fox barrel because it's crappy scope to say the least you're not going to be able to like aim through it and shoot 100 feet and hit something and i think it kind of looks cool like that and I may eventually just say screw the scope and just glue it on here. So, because I mean, it wobbles, it can like turn, I can pull it off real easy. But I may just glue it there eventually because it looks much cooler uh, there and it serves a much better function. And I don't like having the scope here because I like to be aim to aim right down the uh, lines of the gun. And without the scope, I mean, you kind of have a setup of iron sights. If you can see there's like nub on the front and the back. Can't really show it that well, but from my perspective, it's an okay sight. Um, the stock isn't very comfortable without the second piece unless you like really lean into it like you're being serious about shooting, which that's not what Nerf is for. Um, I'm gonna get that second part. This is obviously one of the guns from the Max Force series. And mine just happens to have a perfect sticker, um, so that's pretty cool. The handle 
at first perspective or first look it looks small and like not shaped right and almost uncomfortable but when you're gripping it I mean I have medium maybe large sized hands um, it fits your hand quite well and even though how simple it is it makes a pretty good grip I mean my thumb just kinda hits right here and laces over but I mean it doesn't bother me at all it feels pretty nice um, another note when you have the scope on this side has to be forward otherwise the clip can't pop out of the top I will demonstrate um, as you can see I can't even get the clip into the well which means it can't pop out so make sure you're doing make sure you have that on there right um, as one of the future tutorial videos um, you may expect me opening this to show you uh, the internals and kinda of some of the mods to do and I don't know when that'll be up but sometime soon so watch for that and watch for a joint video where I have my friend in here so you guys can finally meet him and yeah um, like I said this is the second video for today the third one will be up in a few moments so yeah see you guys